This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Warlock Model PKL-10 Puck Lock. It's a standard size puck lock made of hardened steel that is chrome-plated, and it's secured with a 9-disc disc detainer core. I don't see any cheap cast parts from the outside, and from what I can see, it seems to be put together fairly well. So today, we're going to see what it takes to pick into this, and then of course I will take it apart to show you what's inside. The first step to picking this is to rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go, and then I'm going to insert this disc detainer pick that Bosnian Bill and I made to pick up disc number one. Okay, nothing on two. Click out of three. Click out of four. Nothing on five. I slipped off of six, but six is definitely binding. There we go, nice click out of six. Little click on seven. There we go, nice click out of eight. And nine is loose. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, little click on one, nothing on two. Three feels set. Little click on four. Click on five. Okay, six is binding tightly. Not sure which way we need to turn him. There we go. Okay, we got this open, so let's take it apart to see what's inside. Let's relock that core. The first step to disassembling this is to remove this screw right here. That allows us to pull the entire core out. And we can see there is a spring-loaded locking lug, and that extends upward toward the face of the lock. That's an interesting choice, because what that does is creates a very thin point on the face of the lock right about here. That could be a very exploitable drill point. Just put a small hole there and push down on this plunger. I may try that in a future video, but let's continue taking this apart now. The next step is to remove these two Allen screws. Okay, I'm just going to check to make sure that is steel and so is the spinner. That's good to see. Now let's start taking all of these discs out. After the spinner, we have a spacer. And we have a disc. No false gates. I don't think there'll be false gates on any of these. I did not feel any while picking. What is this? Disc number four, I think. Another spacer. There's number five, six, seven, eight. And the last one, number nine. Let's pull that sidebar out as well. You can pull this housing out. It's made of machined brass, looks nicely made. And the locking lug itself, let's confirm that is steel. 
And yes, it is. I really don't see a whole lot to complain here other than the absence of false gates in these discs. That would have been a very easy way to make this just a little bit harder to pick. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this Warlock model PKL-10 Puck Lock. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.